morning everybody it is Wednesday May 13th and I'm going to be reading you a book about shapes today it's called when a line bends a shape begins and it's written by Rhonda Gowler Green and illustrated by James Caxman um, I think it's a pretty old book that's not that old 1997 to me that's not very old um, but I like it because it shows you all the possibilities that a line has and also on Monday, I read The Terrible Monster and I drew a monster using shapes. So I thought it might be fun to keep, keep that going. So let's begin. A line is thin, a line is narrow, curved like a worm, straight as an arrow. A line is a jump rope, black ants in a row, a tug of war game in a violin bow, a tall pole for fishing, a leash and a trail, a kite string, a shoelace, a whisker, a tail. I bet you guys know somebody with a whisker and a tail. I do, somebody's eating behind me, Summer. They had two breakfasts today, by the way, just to let you know. We can talk about that later. Yes. A line is fine, but when a line swerves, when a line bends, watch what can happen. A shape begins. A square has four sides all the same. The boxes of a hopscotch game. A patch to cover up your knee. A present sent from you to me. A checkerboard of red and black. Blocks to build with, share, and stack. A cracker is a square to eat. A square dance is for happy feet. A rectangle is like a square with something rearranged. Two sides are long and two are short. The four sides now are changed. Rectangles, a book to read, a window and a door, a picture hanging on the wall, a rug that worms the floor. A sign for selling lemonade, a box that you can hide in. A letter from the postman and a wagon, too, can ride in. A triangle is three, three sides, three corners, too. The white sail of a boat, a tent built just for you. A jack-o'-lantern's eyes, a wicked witch's hat, the beak of a black crow, the pricked ears of a cat. An instrument to ring, the pyramids of old, a lunch of jam and bread, a napkin in a fold. A diamond sits upon a point, its four sides are the same. A giant green one is the infield of a baseball game. Yellow ones along the road swerve as warning signs. Black and white ones stand out bold in fancy floor designs. Baby's gates are wooden ones that you can stretch or squeeze. A ballerina's legs form one when bending at the knees. A circle's a button, a sock hole to mend, a shiny blue marble, a penny to spend. A bubble, a yo-yo, a red hula hoop. The bowl mom fills with hot noodle soup. A nest in a tree, a cookie to eat symbols to clang, a big drum to beat, bicycle wheels, a tin tambourine, a tiny curled kitten, a crown for a queen. An oval's like a circle except it's not as stout. Two sides go in to make it thin, two other sides go out. Oval is a turtle shell, a way up high balloon, a beetle and a jelly bean, the curved scoop of a spoon. It's a mirror made to look in, an egg all colored bright, a mouth that's filled with singing and a baby bundled tight. Star is a five-pointed shape, shining bright. Star shares the sky with the moon late at night. It tops tinsel trees and is seasoned so merry. It sits on the tip of the wand of a fairy. Gold ones are given for good work in schools. The sheriff star warns the bad guys of rules. The shooting star vanishes quick with a swish. Star is even the shape of a fish. Ha, 
heart goes beep, but beep, but beep inside you all the time. It also is the shape that says, I love you, Valentine. A crescent is a slender shape, a yellow fruit to eat, a hammock strung between two trees for dad to rest his feet. It is a smile when curving up, when down it is a frown. It is the moon when day is done that hangs above a town. Now this shape, they wrote the words of the book around this shape. Do you guys know what that shape is called? An octagon. An octagon has many sides. All counted, there are eight. You see it at the corner. It tells the cars to wait. Shapes are here, shapes are there. Wherever you look, a circle, a square. A diamond, octagon, crescent, or star. Shapes to discover wherever you are. A rectangle, triangle, oval, or heart. Shapes with a curve or a corner to start. Anywhere, everywhere, shapes big and small, dependable, bendable, lines make them all. And the last page is fun. It said bird juggling shapes. So shapes are literally everywhere. If you spend time outside or inside your bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen, the backyard, at the beach, you're going to find shapes. Some of the shapes will be um, things that you see on a regular basis, like tape, which we love. This is a circle. Um, and this is one of my turtle shells. And like they said in the book, it's an oval. It's also got a really nice pattern on it. Um, what else do we have here that we can look at? The book itself is a square. Some books are rectangles. Oh, and the paper I'm about to draw on, a rectangle. Um, last time I drew, I drew the picture of the monster. I did it vertically. I'm going to do a horizontal drawing right now. And I'm just going to start with a line, just like they do in the book. So I'll make a line just kind of randomly. And that's how you can start. You just make a line. And then if you want, you could also have a curved line with a little spiral at the end. Sometimes it's fun to just go like that, right? Sometimes um, scribbling is fun and it can serve a purpose. It can be a lot of things. Let's turn this scribble into something. So I got a little scribble there. I got a swirl and a line. Let's see what I can do with this scribble. I'm going to add, to me it looks a little bit like a bird, so I'm going to add an eye. Black dot. I'm going to add a smile, which is a curved line. And I'll add some feet. That's how I like to make bird feet. It's pretty simple. And then the wing is going to have some lines in it. So that's kind of a crazy bird. And then the swirl, maybe, does that remind you of an animal as well? I was thinking that this could be a worm or a snake. I know that some birds like to eat worms, so I might just echo the shape by following around like that. And then I'll give that worm eyes too. It's kind of hard to see them, but. I could turn it into a snake if I add some stripes to it, and then it might be kind of, or it could still be a worm. So when you add lines all along a shape, they turn into stripes, which is fun. And then one of my favorites, the zigzag line. It's a lot of up and down. It's fun because you can make letters out of lines too. Those look like a lot of M's or N's, right? And then one of my favorite shapes that they had in the book was the crescent, which is like a crescent moon. And you could pretend that the bird is at night looking for worms, or maybe very early in the morning when the moon is still out. So shapes can be made with drawing. 
I also um, just found some wire at my house. Now wire is a little pokey at the end, so it can be sharp. So usually if you're gonna use it, if you have any, use it with a, an adult or a big kid. So my um, piece of wire is curvy. I can straighten it just like I could with a, a string. And I can bend it just like that muscle person did in the book. They bent something into a shape. So I made a point with my wire. And I could even turn it probably into a triangle. It won't be perfect, which as we know, there's no such thing as perfect. There's perfectly imperfect, which is, you know, pretty good. So I can tie this sort of together, wind it. Can we? A triangle. This looks like an arrowhead, right? Anyway, I hope that you um, enjoyed the book. I look forward to seeing everybody on Friday. And I'm going to ask you to look around and find shapes all around your world. In your house, outside of your house, your cat. You remember the cat has triangle ears. And also, um, have a lot of fun and be really nice to your parents. And um, eat your vegetables. Don't eat too much candy. And I think that's pretty much it for now. I look forward to seeing everybody on Friday. Bye-bye.